Hello and welcome everybody. I am Adam the Silly Host and we are back at playing some Minecraft on the Kilocraft server where as you can see I have built some things <laughs> over some period of time. So what do you say? Let's check it out. First and foremost let me show you around my warp where people can just teleport and look around at my base. Yeah it's a little bit flashy because uh, well, I kind of like to show off stuff, <laughs> but anyway, this is the map of my base. As you can see, there is my warp and all the builds that I have built uh, over the past uh, few months. Uh, yeah, I know I should have made more videos, but eh, whatever. <laughs> uh, things happened in the meantime in life and stuff. But anyway, so let's see what do we have here. First of all. Let me, let me show you my base. I am really happy with this build. It took me uh, at least a couple of weeks to figure out and to build, to make everything nice and kind of well decorated. Although I still have to build the interior because, uh, yeah, that's kind of empty. <laughs> so this is at the moment just a nice fancy shell that will need uh, much time to finish. I hope that I will can do something nice and to furnish all the insides. <laughs> oh my, <laughs> that will take some time. Uh, my current base is actually down here with all my chests and more chests with all kinds of storage systems endlessly and more and more and more. And this place goes uh, up and down endlessly again, but this is not that interesting, so let us get out of here. So let me give you some aerial view of this place. Uh, that is actually my border that I have made for the map. But this is pretty much all mine. These are the newest builds that are still unfinished and they don't have a purpose at the moment, which makes them a little bit uh, weird looking, I guess. I mean, they, without a purpose, they are pretty much empty. So I really hope to figure something out for them. This is a smaller trading hall with villagers but uh, yeah not all of them have a purpose already so far i have mainly focused on decorating the place uh, to make some builds make them look nice adding decorations here and there and all over the place hello there this is not my build a friend of mine built this here rainy cat I really like it. This is one of uh, my main towers, which holds a moss farm that's broken, of course, and uh, many, many layers of uh, cactus farms that's supposed to make me all the bone meal that would feed this farm, but it got broken and I was too lazy to fix it, of course. Anyway, I have built here a small r river with docks along the side with all the stuff that people can... So, let's move this way. These are houses that I try to make uh, kind of nice with all the textures. I am not really used to <laughs> building it like this. What I'm used to is building a house from like one kind of block like this. Uh, a bit overgrown I guess. Yeah. This is another show of build I guess. <laughs> Oh, and you can see I have some stables there. I really like these colors. 
I'm trying to mix colors them together as best as I can. This is a honey farm. Most of the farms I made here are, are actually hooked up uh, to a, a water transport system. So everything that I uh, get gets transported into the main storage room. Uh, it's not perfect. This is uh, the first iron farm that a friend built here. And I just built the building around it because why not? It still works nice, uh, but I don't really use it anymore. Oh, hello there. Yeah, I remember sometimes I left some things unfinished and <laughs> they are just all over the place. Uh, this is my pandarium with all the cute pandas because we need pandas. Uh, this is a church that uh, my friend built and I really like it. It's so nice and cozy. And as we can go on, uh, one of my big plans is to build a big castle here, mostly out of calcite and maybe diorite, uh, to make it nice and light from this place to up here with many towers. I really hope I can force myself to <laughs> start building it because that has been a plan for many, many months at this point. Yeah. I named uh, some places rather weird, uh, but these places work out nicely. Uh, then I made this place, try to use all kinds of greens to turn it some form of a lush place, which is filled with all the trees and flowers and everything. And every now and then I built a smaller building for all these <laughs> weird creatures. Uh, this might be uh, one of my favorite builds, which is actually built over a witch hut that I have turned into a witch farm that goes up there. Uh, I try to decorate this place as best as I could with all the flowers and overgrown stuff. I can't have enough greens, I guess. And this place just looks nice. At least it pleases my eyes. <laughs> but let's take you guys up there. Uh, whoa. So, as you can see, this is the place where I can uh, farm witches and all the goodies they give. Plus, on both sides, I uh, I added an iron farm. Oh, and it works. <laughs> the golems go down, they get cooked, and I get all the iron. And if I am lucky, the witches come up. Oh, yes, that's how I get all the iron. I try to uh, make complex waterways that transport uh, all kinds of things. So the same waterway that brings up the witches uh, brings back the iron from down there too. Oh yes, all the iron that we can possibly need. And all everything comes here to the storage system. All the glowstone dust that I love because uh, I can make a hidden uh, lights with that, gunpowder, redstone, sugar, and so on and so on. Witch heads, of course. And in this month, we have special heads, the apple heads, that I really, really love. And as you can see, I have been <laughs> busy <laughs> farming these. It's not that hard, really. It's easy, because uh, in this month, we, uh, the witches give the apple heads. And all I have to do is to just kill them when they come up here. This is my favorite farm. It's also kind of good for XP, uh, I guess. So let's move on. Now this is one of the proud moments of this season's builds that I have made. The first ship I have built that actually looks like a ship. <laughs> Uh, I cheated in a sense that uh, I have uh, checked some online pictures and I used uh, one of uh, the builds proportions, how to 
make it like uh, 40 blocks by 15 blocks or something like that and when i was done with that yeah the rest is like mind design <laughs> i would say <laughs> which might look a bit weird at some places but uh, i am still happy with this there is storage and more storage and um, a cabin that i have never finished yeah i have issues with finishing stuff I much uh, rather like to do new things than finishing things up, but uh, I think that these dogs look nice. We have also have some masons here who give us uh, fancy things. And there is storage up there all over the place. And this is something that I haven't finished again. And I would also like to make a tavern uh, where guests would sing sea shanties and drink all the rum that they can <laughs> okay there is this too this is the main trading hall that i have built for the librarians uh, which was a rather good idea initially um, yeah the server made some modifications that i am not really happy with <laughs> It became much harder to get books, but uh, yeah, I am like whatever. I rarely die, so I even more rarely use my stuff, uh, lose my stuff. <laughs> so I don't really need it anymore. Uh, but I guess this is what uh, I could show you at this time. Oh, oh maybe here. Let us come this way because this is something that I would already like to show you. This is a simple villager breeder, totally manual. They just find their places. And if I, they are not lazy, they will make new kids. Uh, I like to make small, cozy places with hidden things. It kind of makes me happy. And also make a lush greenery all over the place. Small roads with things all over the place. Yeah. Hidden things. <laughs> oh, this is the best pond. Filled with those X a lot, love, whatever they pronounced. <laughs> I can never make that right. Anyway. These will be uh, the farm fields, which look kind of nice, especially if they are nicely lit up. Oh, and this is my forge. As you can see, it's not big, but it's like it gives that some sort of a rustic, cozy feel to it. And I also gave that to my or orchard here. And the small farmhouse at the end of the road I try to use as much decorations as I can to make it like a field not empty of course I will have to make some adjustments and uh, I have to continue with this build too I think this is it for now as you can see this is pretty much my base at the moment but I still plan to build a lot <laughs> I just have to figure out my life and get back to properly playing this game. But anyway, uh, that's all for now. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye everybody.